Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of nostalgia. This is an energy of someone who is emotionally attached to you. This is someone who is missing you. This could be an ex. It looks like someone you have history with, and they are really reminiscing about the good times you shared. So let's see. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Sign Energy. We have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Yeah, this person really is thinking about you and the connection you shared. They may even be having dreams about you. With the higher friend, they feel like you guys had something, you know, an unusual connection. Like it had a spiritual aspect to it. It, it was deep and meaningful to them. Although this person wants to come towards you and show up in your life again, they are cautious. They're scared. So they may come towards you very slowly, like they've been thinking about doing it. And lately, the feeling has been very strong, you know, and they've been getting these signs and synchronicities that they should come towards you. So let's clarify these cards, Aries. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So, yeah, there is an energy here that this person wants to give something another chance. Um, it does look like you've been through a significant amount of hurt and pain with this person, but they, they want to give it another chance. They want to fight for it. This is someone who, who is wanting to not give up. So, let's see. We have the Justice card, Libra energy, the Six of Pentacles, Earth energy, and the Sun, Leo energy. Okay, so this person will eventually come towards you, and their goal is to have a partnership with you. There's the Justice card being here shows that they there's an, an energy of needing to extend some sort of apologies here, and that this connection is karmic to them. You know, they may feel very influenced by this connection. Um, we do see someone who feels like they owe you with the Six of Pentacles. They're, so they're, they're willing to be the first person to make the first move, to invest here, to show you that they, they still care. With the Sun, you really do mean a lot to them. You're a light in their life and they're happy with you. And they really do wish that they could turn back time, you know, because this is someone who regrets ever letting you go or losing you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you. Okay, so we have be bold and make the first move, cardinal moon. Okay, so yeah, this person is willing to make the first move, yeah. give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So they want to give this another chance. They want to work on this. Okay, so let's see.
here we have victory and conquest. He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Aries. surrender obsessive thinking if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries